inspired makeup tutorial. Firstly, I have concealed any blemishes on my face using the NYX Cream Concealer. This is the lightest shade they do. Then for my brows, I've used the Anastasia Brow Pomade in dark brown and used a MAC angled 208 brush just to fill my brows in as well. The foundation I used was NARS Sheer Glow in Deauville and I'm just going in with the NYX Jumbo Crayon, this is in Milk, this is just a highlight underneath the brow. Next I'm going in with the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly and this is just going over the rest of the lid, blending it up towards the milk pencil that we've just blended in as well. So I'm just taking that underneath as well. Then going in with Virgin from the Naked Palette, I'm just going to put this in the inner corner of the eyes with a flat shader brush. Then going in with Buff, this is the matte brown, so this will be the basis for the start of our brown smoky eye. So I'm just putting this in the crease up towards the brow bone with a small blender brush. Then going in with a clean brush, this is the eBay version of Max 217 and just blending out the edges again up towards the brow bone. The blending is going to be the most important thing within this look. So I'm just taking buff underneath as well. So every shade that we use, just take underneath the eye just to all match up and just blend that out again. So from the eBay 120 palette, this is a matte brown shade and I'm just taking this on the outer corner and again blending in exactly the same as before. So this is how it should look so far. And then going in with Dark Horse again from the Naked palette, just taking that on the outer corners. Again, going over what we've already done, just making it really dark and smoky now. And blending out again with that 217. And that's just a clean brush, blending out the edges again. This is the Primark liquid liner. I'm just going to line the eyes without a flick because the photo that I have off her X Factor look, she hasn't actually got a flick. So just lining the top of the lid with that. Then taking the Ribble Scandal Eyes eyeliner in black, just lining the waterline and taking the flat shader brush that we used earlier just to soften out the edges of the eyeliner. So taking the Last Imperfection Concealer, I think this is the medium shade, and concealing under the eyes just to make the under eyes a little bit brighter and conceal any other imperfections. Just touching up the blending at the bottom there. So this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Translucent and the Real Techniques Powder Brush. Just pushing that underneath the eyes and powdering the rest of the face just to keep everything in place and nice and mattified. This is the number 17 Backlash Mascara. She hasn't actually got false lashes on in the photo that I'm looking at so this is quite a voluminising mascara. <laughs> Then taking the MUA bronzer, this is the matte one and just using that to contour again with the big powder brush. And the MUA blusher in Cupcake, it's just a 
subtle pink one and I'm just going to pop that on the apples of my cheeks and then blend it back out with the large powder brush again. This is the George Lip Liner in one. This is a nude shade and just lining the lips with that and also creating the shadowed effect from the outer corners of the lips. So not actually filling the whole lip in with the lip liner. This is the L'Oreal Colorish Lipstick in Cheryl's Nude, which is her collection for L'Oreal. And just applying that over all of the lips. This is 17's Lip Gloss in In The Nude. And it's just to make the lips a little bit more glossy because in the picture hers are a bit more glossy than mine. So just to finish off, just a subtle highlight with the MUA Shimmer Kisses highlight just on the top of the cheekbones so this is the finished look this is one of Cheryl's looks from X Factor I hope you liked this tutorial if you did just leave a comment or subscribe thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon bye